Hi there, my name's Robin Kelly from Cakewalk. And I'm Brandon Ryan, also from Cakewalk. Thank you for watching Music Master. We're really glad to be here. And we're very much looking forward to showing you some of the new features of Sonar 8.5. Let's take a look. So this is the new Session Drummer 3 in Sonar 8.5. Uh, it now has uh, 12 kit pieces, nice new user interface. Uh, and most importantly, it has uh, 20 really, really great new kits. Uh, this is one of the Stephen Slate uh, Led Zeppelin kits that's included with it. It also has a mixing console, so you can mix all of your drums. You can mix and match kit pieces just by loading, and you can bring in uh, different kits, uh, different kit pieces from other of the drum kits. And if you want to make your own drum sounds, you can launch the new Step Sequencer 2.0 right from the interface itself. Uh, it loads up all of your sounds, ready to go to begin creating drum patterns. And let's just create a quick drum pattern. So we'll find our closed hi-hat there, and then we'll go to our kick and maybe just drop in a couple kicks. And maybe a few snares. You move that. And if we want to flam this, we can just double click it and we'll get a nice little flam. You can actually control the amount of flam very, very easily. And then once you've created your pattern, it shows up right in the track itself. And uh, we can take a listen to how it sounds in context with uh, music. And that's Session Drummer 3 and the Step Sequencer 2.0. This is the PX64. This is one of the new plugins included in Sonar 8.5, and it's actually a multi-stage drum processing plugin. Starts off with uh, both input and output tube saturation. You have a transient shaper, compressor, expander, equalizer, and also delay. You can control different routing options of these modules. And uh, let's take a listen to the transient shaper right here. I have a uh, drum loop. And you can hear it's a good loop, but very wet, very boomy. So now I'll actually play it back again that use the transient shaper to remove the room sound. So the PX64 is a great way to actually sculpt your drum sounds. And then we can take a listen to this inside of the song. Okay, so this is the uh, matrix view inside of Sonar 8.5. This is a brand new view, and as you can see, we have many different cells. And these cells can be triggered either just on their own, or I can trigger an entire column. To get my sounds into the matrix view, I can actually drag and drop directly from the loop explorer or from a track or an instrument as well. In addition, I actually have set up a remote control so that I can control all of these patterns directly from the keyboard. So then I can tell Sonar to actually record my performance, and let's take a listen. That's the new Matrix View inside of Sonar 8.5.